Today we'll be talking about Stable and China. John is a 70-year-old man with a history of diabetes and coronary artery disease. He comes to the emergency department complaining of chest pain which started 8 hours ago and lasted about 10 to 15 minutes while cutting the lawn. He added that the pain fully subsided after he stopped working. This patient has classic stable angina. His chest pain was aggravated by activities but subsided with rest. Why did he have chest pain while cutting the grass? The chest pain was due to a decrease in blood flow. The decreased flow was most likely due to a fixed atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary artery. As a result, his demand for oxygen increased with activities, but his supply was limited. Is this called an oxygen deficit? Exactly. So due to this oxygen deficit, he experienced ischemia which was translated into chest pain. Why did the pain subside with rest? The pain subsided with rest because the demand for oxygen decreased. As a result, the oxygen deficit disappeared and the ischemia resolved. Would you still work up the patient even though his chest pain has resolved? Yes, particularly because of his age and diabetes. He got an EKG, labs including cardiac enzymes, and a chest x-ray. How was the patient treated? Well, his EKG showed normal sinus rhythm without ST elevations or depressions, and his cardiac enzymes were negative. He received an aspirin. Because his vitals were normal, a beta blocker was withheld. What is the next test you would recommend for this patient? Stable angina with a normal EKG and a negative troponin should be followed up with a stress test. How do you determine if the stress test is positive? The test is positive if the patient develops ischemia with ST segment depression, heart failure, or hypotension. How is stable angina classified? Stable angina is classified as a component of coronary artery disease. It is definitely not classified as acute coronary syndrome. What are the common risk factors for coronary artery disease? This would include diabetes, hypertension, elevated LDL, cigarette smoking, low HDL, elevated homocysteine, and family history of coronary artery disease. Which are the two rose risk factors for CAD? They are hypertension and diabetes. Can you review coronary blood flow for the students? Sure. The heart is supplied by two main coronary arteries. The right coronary artery gives off the marginal and the posterior interventricular arteries and supplies the right side of the heart. The left coronary gives off the circumflex and the left anterior descending arteries and supplies the left side of the heart. What about the venous circulation? Sure. Blood returns from cardiac muscles through the small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, and the great cardiac vein. All three veins 
drain into the coronary sinus, which in turn drains into the right atrium. This picture reflects the coronary vasculature from both the anterior and the posterior perspectives. In summary, stable angina is chest pain with activities that results with rest. Number two, stable angina doesn't last more than 20 to 30 minutes. Number three, stable angina is due to a fixed atherosclerotic coronary lesion. Number four, patients with stable angina should still receive a cardiac workup. Number five, follow-up care should include a cardiac stress test. And the number six, the stress test is positive if the patient develops shortness of breath, chest pain, or becomes hypotensive. I do hope this review met your needs and has given you a sense of preparedness for the upcoming exam. I wish you well. Good night.